Are Dan and Phil that popular in the UK? Yes. Yes. So they're so popular. So popular. They got cardboard cutouts at the YouTube, the uh, the British version of VidCon somewhere in the city, and people were standing next to them taking pictures. They were basically <laughs> people queuing to take pictures with cardboard, cardboard cutouts. cutouts. Of them. Um, uh, they have magazines with them in. You you walk down the street and if you see a gaggle of teenage girls, someone's got fucking whiskers on them somewhere. The, the, and things. I don't hate them. They're I, popular because they're two guys together and they yeah. used to look quite emo. Yeah. So I admittedly involved. I quite like some of their videos. Mostly um I watched I started watching Phil but then I sort of kind of mostly got into Dan. Some of his hashtag relatable content. Some of it's okay. Like I do kind of watch it because I'm like, yeah, cool. The problem is I can see straight through it. Yeah. (laughs) More and more these days, I think after that one time that we saw them in the green room, like, when they were just, like, totally the most normal people you've ever seen. It's really weird. Like, then they are not like they are on the internet. They are We can't. We can't do this. Amazing Phil. What's really so amazing about you, Phil? Because compared to Dan, you're not that amazing. You know, I don't think they'll ever even acknowledge my existence, even though I did that collab video with Amazing Phil back in the day. I'm just so problematic, they know to stay away. But that won't stop me from being a fan. He just said anime is great because the real world is disgusting. Bro, have you seen tentacle porn? You clearly don't fully understand anime yet. Oh, side note, the fandom is also everywhere. So all those things plus everywhere, especially unrelated YouTubers comments, people just get annoyed. Oh well, fuck them. Dan and Phil actually really like them, but no, fashion choices, they're on the same level. Wearing the anime. worst it's pair of sneakers up. I ever did see. Was he wearing his leather shirt? It's probably no, okay, I that... think it was leather pants. Ooh, yeah. But they were so sweet. I met them. No, for the they're first the sweetest. Time. I like yeah. them me, a lot. me and yeah. Dan have uh, me and Dan have the same legs, and we both should not wear leather pants. I have one half of a Dan and Phil. Only a half? Which one? Mm-hmm. The cute one's bottom half. They're both cute. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I think they're both cute. Liar. And by the way, the cute one, though they're both cute. <laughs> I have his bottom half with the same legs. Really? Yeah. Thick legs. More maybe. <laughs> is not on fire. All right, this one is called Hello Internet. It is from five years ago. That looks like a serial killer's lair. <laughs> he looks like somebody that would get fucked so hard on stick cam. Like he would just go to a stick cam and he would just be getting face fucked. <laughs> like at 3 a.m. 500 people watching me included. I don't wanna fuck that mouth. Also that hair, that hair. I can't judge it because I've had that hair. But just because your straightener goes up to 500 degrees does not mean you need to go there. That hair, that hair is burnt. <laughs> but once again, I can't judge. You know what I like about Dan and Phil, though, is that they're so... That's what I like about YouTube in general. <clears throat> well, it's getting worse, but now it's, like, just average-looking people, which I love. I love that it's average-looking people, but now I feel like the new crop of YouTubers are getting better-looking, and I'm angry, and I'm scared. This is from YouTube stars Dan is not a fire and amazing Phil. They're British, they wear all black, and they have my hair from five years ago. My goal in life is to get spit-roasted by them. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Oh my god, that's Phil's graduation picture. That's a fucking good one. He looks like a kid in Harry Potter who, like, doesn't have magic powers. Like, he's like, oh, you, you guys all can do magic. Oh, boggers. No, I think I took the wrong bus. Gross to the grocery store who can read the most disgusting shit. I mean, I could write a fan fiction. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to write fan fiction about two of the worst people I know. Okay, one one of the worst people and then Phil. Why do people dislike Dan? I don't know. Maybe because he's an asshole? I'm, I'm glad that more than just I dislike him because I was starting to feel like an asshole for disliking him but I'm glad that it's the popular opinion and not just mine all I'll say is I don't get to talk to Phil no more we don't talk anymore I used to talk to him at conventions and now I don't cuz uh, cuz I don't get to it's not a thing I'm allowed to do want to know the juicy details you're not I'm not gonna sit here and 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 be a gossip girl so sorry can get banned for talking negative about other streamers ah i think dan and phil aren't streamers and i'm not talking negative about them at all i'm just saying that i don't like them i'm allowed to say i don't like people if people wanted to be liked by everybody they should try and uh 
I should try and leave a better pit. Uh, leave a better uh, uh, impression on people than what they do. First serious question is from Wi-Fi Howell. How much do you ship Dan and Phil? Jesus Christ! This is gonna be the new fist me daddy. Like Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil. I ask a question. Dan and Phil. Everyone wants to see them fuck, but it's it's not gonna happen. Just let it go. I think this is probably the first finger painted fan art. Fanships. It must be. I mean, no one that young is that weird and twisted. And here are all the fucking weirdos that ship them together every goddamn time. How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. A lot of times in fandoms, fans ship people. Do you know what shipping is? It's where they get two people that are either famous or someone they, they, they love. And they put them together. Could be called fan fiction as well. Fan fiction is some scary shit. And you don't know who the fans are gonna put you with. Take Dan and Phil for instance. There are so many messed up sexual stories about those guys. And they're straight. So... Skeptic and one isn't so. Well, read the one that isn't. Yeah, and Wait, you. But their their whole thing, which I feel like we talked about, but their whole thing is that everybody thinks they're a couple. Well, yeah, yeah, we've never discussed that. We <laughs> never did. We never did. But what if we collab? Can you hook us up? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Why are you afraid to collab with this game? <laughs> are you afraid we'll see too much? No. I this is a big conspiracy right now. Okay. Everybody all, and this is, okay, this is weird for me to talk about because I feel like it's like this weird outing thing and I don't want to do that. But their fans are convinced that Dan and Phil, YouTubers Dan and Phil, oh. are actually in a gay relationship and they've been together the whole time. I don't think they are. I think they're just fucking with the audience and they probably think it's funny and like, you know, their fan fashion fiction is funny. is not gay enough. I've seen their sneakers <laughs> in real life and they're like, no way they are gay. Right. But their audience is convinced. They have created this, this story in their head that they are together. Now, as psychics, what do you see for Dan and Phil's okay. relationship? Well, well we you know, invited them on our show. As you yes. know, you were there. And uh, they still haven't taken us up on it, even after we said, what are you hiding, Dan and Phil? <laughs> Dan and Phil were gay, but apparently they're not. I guess I just think everyone's gay. So let's finally get to the bottom of who really is the bottom. So I'm just gonna search Dan and Phil fucking. Ooh, fan freaking tastic moaning for more. Okay, so the majority of people on Twitter think that fan isn't real. I disagree. That's enough cold hard evidence for me today. But DIYs are really in at the moment, so I'm gonna make some DIY fan porn. <laughs> Gentlemen, please. Guess it's time for some porn. But now that we have our sex dolls, we need to make them some sex. Yeah, the fandom. It's a beautiful thing.